Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I'm really excited about working with the Crow Panel Advanced 5 inch IPS touchscreen powered by ESP32S3. We got to unbox it previously. Look for the link down below. Check out that video to see all the specs. And now I'm interested in working with it in the Arduino IDE. So we're going to step through everything you need to do to set up the Arduino IDE for working with the Crow Panel. First and foremost, we want to be able to put things back the way they were. And so this is how you flash the firmware that we demonstrated in the previous video. So I know I can bring it back the way it was. So that's a good thing. Yeah, we've definitely worked with the ESP32 flash download tool before. You just have to get the files in there and then the address for the where the files should be loaded to. And of course you select the correct serial port and send it away. All right, let's see. We're looking for the quick start guide. Yeah, it does Squareline Studio support, compatible with Arduino, LVGL support, replaceable wireless modules. Yeah, so the example code for Arduino IDE is under example, example code 5.0. I'm just going to download the zip, get the whole library, everything in it. And we'll download that zip. And you see it's underway there. Probably a pretty good size zip file. <laughs> okay, library files need to be in the libraries folder. Now I have this historical Arduino folder full of libraries and stuff. So just like I did with the T-Display S3, I'm going to make a new Arduino folder with a blank libraries folder. Yeah, you see here in my documents, Arduino T-Display S3. Now there's my main historical Arduino folder. And I'm just going to call it Arduino main so that when I want to go back to doing all the other stuff, I'll just rename folders and change places. So now it looks like we need to make a new Arduino folder. So we'll go right click, new folder, and we'll call it Arduino. There we go. Then we got to get back in there and we need to create a libraries folder. Okay, new folder, libraries. So now this is when we want to go back to the zip file we downloaded that has everything from the GitHub repository for the Crow panel. Yeah, this is specific to the advanced five. There's all the libraries that it's going to want for working with Arduino. So we're going to copy them all from the zip file and paste them into my documents, Arduino, libraries folder. So this will be just very specific for the curl panel. And when we get done, we can rename that Arduino file folder as Arduino curl panel and then rename Arduino main back to Arduino and we'll have everything back the way it was. We got all those libraries there. And there they are in my documents Arduino libraries folder. So we've got the we've got the library part set up. That's good. Okay, so these are the example sketches. Oh, it has the ESP IDF stuff, platform IO stuff, ESP home. I've never worked with ESP home before, but the example code at, 5.0 is the Arduino code. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that into the Arduino folder too. So I have it in one place. There we go. All right. So we've taken care of the libraries and we've got an Arduino folder with libraries. Now one of the things they didn't cover here yeah, we're going to talk about board manager. They don't ex they don't say it explicitly here, but in, in terms of board manager, yeah, first of all, they don't mention entering the uh, ESP32 board manager URL. And then they show that they want you to use 302, and I have 320 installed. We'll, we'll find out later on <laughs> what we need to do there. Let's just keep going along here. Yeah, see, it shows 302. 
It doesn't say it anywhere in writing. All right, now remember, you need to go into Preferences, Board Manager URLs, Additional Board Manager URLs, and you have to make sure you have the ESP32 Board Manager URL. Okay. And let's just drill into the first, I like how they call them lessons. So that's going to make, that's going to be interesting. And at the top of this lesson here, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into the GitHub copy. We look here, lesson one. Ooh, advanced AI chat, ESP32 AI dialogue. Going to want to take a look at that. This is a simple hello world program. They tell you how to set up the board. Oh, video tutorial link. And then scrolling around. Uh-oh. All subsequent examples run on ESP32 version 302. So there it says explicitly you got to have 302. All right. And I know for a fact I've got the latest one in here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit remove. There we go. We're uninstalling 320. And just like the LilyGo T-Display S3 yeah, I think it was the same uh, version of the board man board manager package for ESP32 that it really relied on. So we're going to go here and get the older 302, install that. So we've got the libraries from Elecro specifically for the Crow panel, just in case they've had settings or, uh, you know, INF files, anything like that in there that are specific to the Crow panel. I know uh, LilyGo does that with their T-Display. They'll uh, work on the config files for TFT ESPI, and it'll have stuff specific to the T-Display. So I expect there's something similar to that. So now that we've got the correct board manager support, we want to select ESP32 S3 dev module, get the right serial port. Flash size is 16 megabytes, parentheses 128 megabytes. Partition scheme is huge app. 3 megabytes, no OTA, 1 megabyte spiffs. And PS RAM needs to be set to OPI PS RAM. So, because I've just got one screen, I have to go back and forth, so don't let me drive you crazy here. But first, we go ESP32. Let's see. S3 dev module. Now, what's the next thing we need to do? Well, we don't have it plugged in yet, so I can't select the port. All right. We know we need the flash size. Yeah, let's flip back here. Okay, flash size is 16 megabytes. So let's go pick that now in the Arduino IDE. I should have done a split screen now that I'm thinking back to it. There we go, 16 megabytes. What's the next setting we see? So ESP32 dev module. Okay, partition scheme. I remember that huge app. Three megabytes. Yeah, huge app, three megabytes. I'm just double checking myself. I always, it, it's a habit for me. Double check, double check. And then PS RAM is OPI PS RAM. There we go. This is the last thing we need. And we are going to be ready to work with the Arduino IDE and this Crow panel. Advanced 5-inch IPS ESP32 S3 display. Let's see. Yeah, there's that. PS RAM, OPI PS RAM, huge app partition. Yeah, yeah. So we're ready. So stay tuned because I'm going to start working through all these example sketches and demonstrating them for you. Uh, it's interesting. There's 10 lessons there that are in the Arduino IDE uh, example sketches. The first one is just hello world. <laughs> so stay tuned for that video when we work through all of the example sketches. Okay, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my ESP32 playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.